Yeah, g'day, what's up you beautiful cunts? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just want to start this video by saying, I don't know if, if, you, if you've been here before, you probably noticed that right now I've got a whole lot of new things going on with the whole camera angle. I decided to get a phone with a wide angle lens and give it a go in 4K. Now it's 30 FPS, uh, I want you guys to give me some feedback, tell me what you think of uh, this whole setup that I've got going on here and we can always revert back if need be. I want to see what your guys' input is, input is on this. So fucking drop some comments. Uh, give us a like while you're there. Nah, nah, don't do that. I'm not going to fucking start whoring for that shit. But drop us some comments. Tell us what you think. Um, I can kind of zoom in with this camera. So uh, yeah, we'll work it out as we go. So today, as you can see, obviously my kahis, my cousins. I got some black static uh, non-reflective Yeezys here. Um from Kiku, these were sent to me in the mail. Now, I did notice that these were, they looked a little bit different to the photos on the website and um, to what I was actually expecting, but um, they're not a bad sneaker. They're actually fucking really good. Uh, I compared them to a few images as well as Stock X and Goat. Um, it seems like the uh, quality control from Adidas is pretty hit and miss on these in general um, from the pictures that I've seen. So uh, we'll run through some things um, on the sneaker. The main thing that uh, I saw that I was kind of questioning was the gap between the sock liner and the stripe, the top of the stripe here. Um, some images show a lot more of a gap, whether it's a sizing issue. But on stock X though, it's, it's the exact same as this. Um, you know, I took, did the whole 360. The stripe length seems like another sizing, sizing issue. Um, but overall general quality of the shoe, it's fucking good. Um, I would love to actually get some budgets and compare them because uh, I have seen um, a few budget sellers around. Uh, I haven't actually done much research to see how good they are, but for what you're paying for these, if you're using the discount code, it's a fucking good pickup. It is a fucking really good pickup. You'll be walking around the mall and people see you and they'll be like, oh my God, you're fucking Yeezys, bruh. Oh, look at your fucking Yeezys. Um, I'm a fan of these shoes, especially if you fucking lace swap them. If you chuck some red laces in there with a bit of a black hint to them, you know, black and red laces, I think these things would fucking pop. So I would love to do a video on that uh, and get with getting some laces and chucking them in the shoe. If that's something you guys would like to see, yeah, please just leave a comment. It is seriously a fucking underrated shoe. Well, it can't be underrated, really. Have you seen the resale price on these bitches? Pretty fucking high. So getting into it, shape of the shoe, shape of the sneaker and the... um the peak fucking good the heel look at it we'll just take a fucking good little 360 around there she good she good um i'll see if i can swap a bit closer for you guys there we go look at that look at the stitching look at the quality of that the heel tab good if you can see that it's double stitched there double stitched there what it's supposed to be placement is good um sometimes heel tabs might look a little bit crooked guys but you can always adjust them yourself, see, crooked, crooked the other way, you can always make them, so don't take that too seriously, um, stitching down the center, good, it's fucking good, these laces are a bit tight, I need to loosen those fuckers up, pattern of the shoe, not bad, not bad at all, uh, might be off in some cases, I haven't actually gone too deep into that, I did have a little bit of a browse, and I did have the Stock X app actually open on my other phone, so I could uh, show you guys a comparison. So um, just let me let me find it, and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, there we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wait, I'm fucking this up royally. I'm not going to fucking even lie. Well, I had this. I had this sorted. <laughs> how embarrassing right um i don't know if you guys can see this image this is from stock x where, where are we there we are that yeah no nah, this shit i'm not gonna fucking give this up you guys go onto stock x while you're watching this video you guys do the 360 you compare i think you guys will be uh very surprised with this sneaker it's it's fucking almost one to one man i'm so fucking happy with this um so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna order some laces in, lace swap these. Uh, okay, so there's the inner of the shoe. 
well, there's the inside of the shoe. Take a look at that. I'll show you the tag. If we can get and see this tag, this is the fucking hard part, right? Um, I normally just skip this out because it's just fucking so hard to do. Um, fuck, I don't know what the fuck I'm up to here, guys. Look at me fucking fumbling. It's like watching a uh, giraffe trying to walk for the first time, right? Oh my god, this is... I'm fucking butchering this. I'm butchering this. Alright. There's the soul. That boost, though. That fucking boost, though. So fucking squishy. So squishy. It's good. We'll go back to wide angle now. That boost is actually so fucking nice. Um, the shape of the sneaker, though. Like, when you lie it flat, that... The shape of the soul is actually really fucking good. Now, these sneakers, from what I've seen, don't really have much of a booty to them on the back here. So don't get sucked into too much of that. Um, maybe some of them do, maybe some of them don't. But the images I've seen, there's been no fucking booty. It isn't too boxy at all. At all. Let me try to get a good angle. She ain't boxy at all. She's nice, slim. It's a good fucking sneaker. Sock line is perfect. Stitching is great. Um, and I am actually struggling to find any flaws on this. I think the sole without a picture right in front of me might be a little bit dark. But it's not something you're going to fucking notice at all. You can still see the boost through it. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to cop a pair of these, you guys know where to go. You guys know what to do. You guys know the code to use. Uh, otherwise, if you're looking for another pair of sneakers, just go online and fucking take a look. But these sneakers are definitely something I had to cop and add to the collection. I slept on them for a while, thinking that they weren't too great and that I wouldn't be able to actually match them up with anything. But after getting them, I am so fucking glad I copped them. And these will be something I will chuck away, do a lace swap on see what I can fit them with, and that is something I'll probably do an on foot for. That is something I'd definitely like to, actually. Red laces, guys. Pop with this little accent of red here. I think it would be dope. What do you guys reckon? If you if you got any kind of uh, suggestion of what kind of laces or something to do, let me know. Alright, guys. Too easy. Peace in the Middle East. Cheers for fucking watching, boys. Put those bushfires out, Aussie. Fuck yeah. Chill.